After I did my video on using the Cadence Blocks plugin on a directory site, I had someone ask me if I'd ever tried making a directory site using the uh, AI starter templates that you can get with the Cadence theme. Uh, that's not something I've actually tried, but it is something that I've been really interested in because I've used the starter templates for a lot of other sites in the past. Uh, so today we're going to walk through how you use the starter templates and see if we can actually make you know, basically the skeleton of a directory site with these AI starter templates. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today I found a new domain I could target for a directory site, uh, put it up on hosting, uh, and got the Cadence theme as well as Cadence blocks installed. I do have a pro license. Um, I don't remember for sure if you need to have a pro license to use the AI starter templates. Um, I do know that, you, that I get like a limited number of credits that I can use. Uh, so hopefully we're not going to be wasting those trying this out. Uh, you can find the starter templates. Actually, when you install the Cadence Themes plugin, it actually asks you if you want to install um, the starter templates. Um, and then if you, you click yes, and then it will try to take you right to the, the AI starter templates. You can also use the, um, like the classic starter templates, but none of those seem to be for directory sites, so we're going to skip that. Uh, we're going to use my AI credits here, see what we can do with these uh, templates here. And if you, if you notice here on my screen, uh, you can find this once you've installed it under Appearance and then Cadence. Uh, you come up first on this Dashboard tab and you just click on Starter Templates uh, to get that. I think you can also access it from your Plugins screen, um, but we're just going to access it from here. So we'll click Browse Starter Templates. And like I said, we're going to use the AI. We're going to see if the AI can actually make us um, a template that actually looks like a directory site. So let's get it started on that. Looks like it is verifying my account. Okay, so just a moment here. Connect that to my Cadence account. Okay, so here it's telling us, you know, they've got this AI powered engine to make us a website within minutes. Uh, the way tools like this work is the more information you give it, the better likelihood you get exactly what you want. Okay, so our first screen here, we've got our language. I am, so we're an organization. Our organization is actually the domain name here. Find Bungie Fitness. Uh, we'll say we're online only. Let's see if we can put in directory for our industry. Looks like no. Mm, I wonder if we should add it because we're not going to get what we want. Uh, something like a Chamber of Commerce website would have a directory. So let's see if they have something like that in here. No. Hmm. Just try putting in organization. Nope, it's not gonna work. Well, looks like it's gonna be like a single organization. So there's not really gonna be anything. I just remembered when I did the video on the dance um, directory site where that was for sale on Flippa, they called their site a portal. So let's see if that comes up. No. Um. Like we can put fitness as our industry, but I really wanted to make sure I skewed everything towards getting, you know, the directory site that we want. Otherwise, we're gonna probably end up with something not exactly what we want. Let's see here. We'll say okay, it's not really a club either. Let's see, local. Trying to see if there's anything that fits our thing. There's not, you know what, let's just go for directory because I do want to try to skew this as much as possible in the right direction. Okay, so we've got that. We'll go to our next location. Okay, tell us about your business. So they, they show you here on the right side of the screen basically how much information that you can give to get what you want. You can scroll through this. Uh, see a few different things. We'll just see if any of these happen to be directory websites. I doubt it. Nonprofit. 
Okay, so let's just, let's see here. So that is a start. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to see what happens when I click expand with AI. See what it gives us. Very AI, isn't it, <laughs> with the wording here. Um, but yeah, I like that it's longer and uh, we'll see what happens, right? Go ahead and click next. Keywords. Let's see here. Fitness directory. Local fitness class. Workout locations. Um, I think we will leave it, leave it like that, just to make sure. Like I said, I want to give this the best chance of success possible, so that we get. In, if we don't get what we want, we at least get something close to it. It looks like I have to add at least five. Let's see. So we'll just say exercise class directory. For our fifth one, our tone. So we'll just, you can pick you know, any of these that you want. I'm just gonna pick friendly. Oh, and I didn't show you some of the other examples here. Um, I'll show you the different conversational tones, just different things you can try. Okay, we'll click on next. So what do we want to do? It looks like none of the options are going to fit what we want to do. And we have to select something. Um, I have a feeling we are not going to get anything near what we want. Let's see here. Like displaying events is the closest, but we don't want that either. We do want the ability to write blog posts, but that is not our primary objective. Hmm. If I was logged into ChatGPT right now, I would actually pop all of these options in and ask it which one would be the closest to getting me what I wanted, but I'm not logged in. So let's try generate leads. Okay, now this is going to pull in uh, basically Creative Commons images. Most of the time when I've created sites, uh, these AI starter templates in the past, the images have been kind of terrible. We do have some bungee fitness stuff in this one, but not this one. You can edit the collection. I don't remember what that really does. So nothing super exciting here. But let's go ahead and get rid of these that are irrelevant. It's gonna leave us with like, what, two photos maybe? three photos. Okay, so update those. And I don't think any of these pictures were actually relevant at all. No. So we'll just, we'll just let's, uh, get rid of most of these because I don't have to be deleting them later. I don't know how many I have to leave. So uh, we'll just we'll go with two. Okay, so this is going to take 70 of my credits. I have no idea how many I have, so 
Let's see what we get here. I have a feeling it's going to be really terrible. Okay, so that took almost two minutes. Uh, so this is showing us our options. It, it always gives you several options. You can change like the colors and things like that. Um, so we need to look through these and see. Like I really like the wide hero image here. None of these seem to have the type of homepage I would expect. Uh, so let's just go through these and see if there's anything we could work with. That's trying to get an email address. Looks like it's added maybe a calendar. You can usually click on the navigation bar within the demo here to see different things, but I don't think this one is working today, which is unfortunate because I'd like to see all of the other pages. Maybe it's this one? Yes, okay, so this shows us what all of our pages look like. So this is making it like this is a, a single location business. You can see this from the services pages, this explore our offerings. So that's not quite going to do it. I have a feeling all of these are going to look like this. Let's see what the other pages are. So this one is trying to sell you a service as well. Again, not exactly what we need. Like I said, I have a feeling these are all going to be similar. So at this point for me, what I'm looking for is uh, I'm probably going to have to edit whichever one of these uh, starter templates I pick um, because none of them are meeting my needs. So what I'm looking for is of my options, which of these home pages is giving me, you know, like the closest to what I am visualizing uh, for this home page to look like. You know, and that's really a matter of personal opinion. Uh, you know, you can do whatever design it is that you prefer. I don't want you to think that whatever I end up picking here is, you know, the way to go because honestly, none of these are great. They're all they all have their own problems just because, you know, it's not it's not a template for a directory site, right? Uh, it's, it's more for a service based business, like a single location local business type of situation. I do really like this how to find your class section on this one, which I could move up. So this one is pretty good. Let's look at the other pages here to see what we have. I also like the coloring, although I could change it. So this one could work. Let's see what plugins they're using. Just cadence blocks. Okay. This one, not great. Again, not great. This one is interesting. I like the Discover Your Perfect Bungee class with the big hero image here. This one's clearly set up to be an e-commerce though, which is Pretty bizarre. What do we have here? Maps. Okay, so this one is, I might be able to make that one work too. I actually want to go back and look at the other one I liked. I don't know, the white is really clean, so I, I think I like that one better. This one's also looks like it's an e-commerce situation. Two left here. Definitely not. And let's see. I don't like that one either. So I think the winner for me is going to be the Cypress theme here. I do want to double check the other ones here with the large hero image 
to make sure. Yep, don't like that. And I don't like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one. Honestly, if I was building this site for myself and I wasn't recording this video and sharing this publicly, I would probably just scrap this all together. Um, it was definitely a waste of my uh, AI credits for this. So this one is the best of the bunch. Like I said, it's not perfect. Lots of pages that I'm really not going to need. Um, now I could, you know, basically uncheck these. I don't know if that gives me back some of my credits or not. Um, I usually just leave all of the sample pages they create though in case, and I set them as drafts, right? Um, in case I want to end up turning them into something else, you know, in the future. So, import all of that. Yep, so we'll go ahead and we'll click finish and launch. There's nothing installed on this site, just, you know, the, the hello world and the sample page because this is a completely new install. Uh, so there's nothing to, for it to write over. So, But if you do already have content on your site, that is something that you want to pay attention to if you're doing one of these, you know, AI starter templates. Although, honestly, I don't know why you would with this one because it's not really giving us a directory site. Let's see here. This one's going a lot faster. Only going to take about a minute, it looks like. Okay, so we are done. Let's see what the site looks like. Uh, obviously, I have images that need replaced. I need to do a lot of work with the home page here to make it uh, look like something else that's actually relevant. Um, and what I actually need to do is make this not uh, discoverable by Google right now because I don't want it finding it when it looks like this. We are going to click on this for now. Now the trick is actually remembering to uncheck this box when I'm ready for it to be indexed um, to make sure that the site actually gets indexed. Um, so yeah, so that, that's what it looks like if you try to use the Cadence uh, AI starter templates to make a directory site. It doesn't work. Um, I guess it gives you kind of some bones to start with. Like I said, I really like this section. I'm going to end up moving this up. Um, and do some changes here. Uh, so yeah, so now we have the answer to the question, can you use the Cadence AI starter templates to make a directory site? Definitely not, unless you want to be doing a lot of tweaking. Um, I will continue working on this site uh, when I get a chance. It's not a high priority for me because I have other you know, directory sites that I'm not sharing publicly. Uh, that way, just so I can show you like what I'm doing and things like that. Um, I'll also try to use this site as a way to basically do a walkthrough of, you know, do, building one of these sites from start to finish, just so you can see kind of what that looks like. Uh, especially if you have a very low budget, because a lot of these, you know, plugins and things like that, you know, the cost can really add up. Um, you know, you're, you're scraping for the data, you're paying for the plugins, maybe you're paying for themes, things like that. You're paying for hosting, obviously, for your site. Uh, so I'm going to try to do as low a budget as possible building out this site uh, just to see what we can do, you know, with a very low budget. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below for me, uh, and I will try to answer them for you if I can. Um, anything else, feel free to drop that in the comments below as well, and thanks for watching.